the new coach, and I don't know who's going to be the new coach. Everyone is Gautam Gambhi, but Rahul Dravid. Uh, do you like the fact that he's going out uh, uh, on a high like this? Uh, could have stayed back. Oh, I don't like the fact really... that he's going out. I don't like the fact that he's going out. I wish he had three more years in the job. He's just really to be yes. terrific for India. Uh, he's so sensible, so calm, so mature, so uh, uh, self-effacing. And at the same time, he's obviously very, very much earned the respect and trust of his team. So it's a real loss. Uh, whatever happens, uh, uh, I'm so sorry to see him going, but if he must go, I'd rather he went out on a high because he deserves nothing less. He's a he's a terrific guy. I might say that I know Gautam Gambhir personally, and I think he's also terrific. Um, he'll bring a lot of intensity to the game. Um, that's different in a very in, in a different way from from Dravid. Not that Dravid isn't intense. I think he he's just quieter about it. Uh, Gambhir will wear it more on his sleeve. But these are these are both fine cricketers. So, uh, I, I have no uh, uh, I have nothing against Gautam coming in. It's just that I would. I think he could have waited a bit while Dravid had a little longer, except Dravid didn't want it to. I didn't want to continue, I gather. I I know, but this is the kind of sad. Even I am also, and the way he was, he, he Virat went and gave that cup to him, and the way he held it and you know uh, lifted it, and he was like behaving. First time I've seen him behaving like a kid. Rahul Dravid <laughs> it was amazing sight, sir. You know, uh, I was so personally happy seeing. I mean, such a gentleman. Uh, cricketer always never won something as a as a cricketer, but as a coach, he's done it, uh, and what a magical way! But from here on, what what do you see? Indian cricket uh, progressing further with giant steps. Uh, we should be winning all the tournaments because this was a jinx we had to break, uh, and and uh, no looking back from here. The kind of talent we have. Yeah, in that's the it. So I, I'd like to see us. Uh entering an era of dominance to rival the West Indies of the 70s, 60s, yes. 70s, 80s, and the Australians of the uh, of the 90s uh, and, and, and the first decade of the century. Uh, there have been teams that have had that kind of dominance where everyone expected them to win any against anyone, any conditions anywhere. And that's what I want India to be. We've never been there. We won tournaments and then promptly uh, failed to you know, uh, keep that up. I remember 83, we won the World Cup in England. And later that winter, the West Indies came to India and walloped us 5-0 uh, in the <laughs> Test Series. So, I mean, you know, uh, uh, it's just, we, we just haven't had an extended run of dominance um, uh, in the sport. Uh, and I'd love to see that happen. I'd love to see India becoming that kind of team. Uh, for all the reasons you yourself mentioned, and Neil, the existing amount of talent we have, which is so considerable, the fact that this talent uh, involves people uh, coming up at all levels from all over the country, from all sorts of backgrounds. It's a much more diverse pool now. Yes. Cricket's no longer an elite sport. <clears throat> it reaches every mohalla. <laughs> we have uh, railway ticket collectors and, and rickshaw driver's sons who become uh, international stars playing for India. Uh, we've got all of this going for us. And I, I think that with this kind of talent pool, this kind of depth, this kind of population base, this kind of resources and money coming into the sport uh, and the fan base to encourage people. Uh, I, I don't see why we shouldn't be uh, by far the best team in the world. I want it to be a situation where the Indian second or third 11 is better than the next best test country. And we can be like that. Uh, so I'd like to see really a formidable machine coming into place. And if with all the advantages we have, we can't do that. Then I have to ask what's wrong with us as a, as a people, because we really should have every reason to, to be as formidable as those great teams, uh, as I mentioned earlier of the past, like the West Indies and the old Australians. Subscribe to One India channel and never miss an update.